After the introduction of antibiotics to treat patients with tuberculosis in the middle of the last century, uh, many people believed that it could be eliminated in short time. It has been declared by the WHO as an emergency already 20 years ago. Two reasons are responsible. One is the HIV epidemics, which started 30 years ago and uh, created the TB HIV co-infection. And the other is the emergence of complex resistances against drugs. If you look at the whole region, we estimate annually 78,000 new MDR-TB patients, but of which only 30,000 are being diagnosed. And of those being diagnosed, only 50% are being cured. So we are indeed speaking about a time bomb. Since the dissolution of the Soviet Union in the 1990s, there was a huge disruption of the social services and in fact the failure of the health services to reach out to the TB patients. That coupled with a very irregular distribution of the drug supply created really the multi-drug resistant tuberculosis and its spread in many of the former Soviet Union states. A case from Eastern Europe, a lady who was born in Poland, she was a model by profession, traveled all over Europe after being already treated two times in her own country, it became clear that she was XDR, basically resistant to all drugs, but unfortunately then, then she died at the age of 35 years. I, I've never seen a patient suffering so much. TB is a disease characterized by, by slow process, you know, slow to, to initiate and slow even to kill. And of course, during all this time, they are still uh, transmitting the infection. On the tuberculosis ward, we have quite a number of patients coming from the former Soviet Union with their complex resistances. The patient from Czechna is, is 42 years old. His uh, diagnosis of tuberculosis was made in 1995. So he came to, uh, to Berlin as an asylum seeker and he hopes to get cured here. But it can be assumed that he had no big resistance patterns in the beginning, but that these resistances were created during the several treatments he received, but all inadequate. The problem is that he has a resistance against the main drugs. Uh, we have to treat him with second line drugs. These are not very efficient compared to the first line drugs and they have a lot of side effects. If he will be treated appropriately, and, and, and he is cooperating at the moment very good, so he may become closed and uh, maybe even uh, become treated successfully. But it's, it's difficult because he has not so many reserves, pulmonary function reserves, because actually he has only this part of the lung which is working properly. We're here on the UK's one and only digital mobile x-ray screening unit. This is a service that we've been using since 2005. This service is quite a good example of an international collaboration because we developed this idea in partnership with the Netherlands. People can walk onto this digital x-ray screening unit and have a chest x-ray that's read there and then on the spot with them and they can be on and off this vehicle in two minutes. We can screen 300 people a day when we're going flat out. We target about 190 different projects around London. Uh, that would be hostels, residential projects for homeless people, day centres, drop-ins, soup kitchens, projects that support people with substance misuse problems, alcohol dependency, uh, crack cocaine, heroin use, and uh, projects that work with people with a prison history. Rates of TB in London are now as high as they were going back to the 80s. And while we thought that TB was coming down um, for most of the last uh, century, essentially, um, since the late 1980s, TB has been increasing in the UK, with rates in certain parts of London now exceeding certain parts of Eastern Europe and even some parts of Sub-Saharan Africa. 
we've got three and a half thousand new cases a year and it's about one in six of those cases have got very complex social problems that are highly likely to complicate their ability to reach treatment services and take what we still ironically call short course treatment. That's six months just for the fully sensitive strain. As far as the emergence of drug resistant strains in the population is concerned, this is a huge challenge for us. A third of the cases that we work with are now drug resistant and over 10% of those have got MDR disease. Uh, at the moment on the books of uh, this service we've got 55 cases with multi-drug resistant TB and four with XDR TB, extensively drug resistant TB. TB knows no borders with the increased trade globalization, traveling, the countries have to forge efforts in fact to tackle this as a regional and a global issue. We can see the emergence of these strains. We've got a window of opportunity to get in there, invest and control TB by simply finding the cases early and ensuring that they can be supported to complete what is a very long course of treatment. This uh, will, will be successful if we are really able to work all together and advocate for more political commitment, more funding. We have the technical capacity, but we need the funding and the policy, otherwise we will never succeed. The description of, a t of TB as a ticking time bomb is apt, but time bombs can be defused if we act now and we act appropriately.